COVID vaccine eligibility expanding again today to include those 50 and older as well as anyone 16 and older with disabilities or medical conditions. It's a quick development as all Michiganders will soon become eligible in just two weeks. Health experts say though our supply is still lagging far behind that expanded criteria. We definitely don't have enough vaccine to meet the demand or to vaccinate all those who are currently eligible. That's our current reality, according to Dr. Nirali Bora, the medical director of the Kent County Health Department. And it's the same in Ottawa County as more Michiganders become eligible for the COVID vaccine. It's good news, but for us, it's been um, tempered a little bit because we don't have enough vaccine to broaden into the age groups that are eligible today. Both counties say they're still working through previous eligibility groups, but are thrilled about their vaccination rates for those most at risk. I'm really excited about our 65 and older population as we're it's close to 70% of that population has already been vaccinated. We have 70% who've gotten at least one dose and 43% who are completely vaccinated. So all health systems are asking for patients, especially as all Michiganders become eligible on April 5th, but don't expect to snag an appointment on that exact date. I don't think that's quite realistic at this point. Vaccine scarcity is still an issue. And so while everyone would be eligible, there still is not gonna be enough vaccine to get to all those people who truly want it and who truly need it. The good news, supply is supposed to be ramping up. We are looking at a massive expansion of how many vaccines are gonna be available available within a month from now and we're looking at vaccinating you know thousands and thousands of people every day in Kent County alone. With that in mind Dr. Andrew Jameson the division chief of infectious disease at Mercy Health says we can start to see some more normalcy this summer. Even if nothing else changed summer is going to be better this year and then when you add in the vaccinations it's really going to be solid. So I'm I'm very optimistic that we're getting to you know June and July it's going to feel different than we are right now. But he says that all hinges on what we do for the next month. Keep up the diligence with masking. Don't get together with other people inside houses. Keep socially distanced the best you can. Don't let your guard down. In the meantime, experts recommend signing up wherever you can and taking the first available appointment. Stay encouraged and um, keep that enthusiasm because we really want people to get vaccinated. All right, so if you need to register for your vaccine, you can visit vaccinatewestmi.com, and that is where you can register for the clinic at DeVos Place, but that's where you'll also find under the Resources tab links to register at area health departments and any participating pharmacy. So it's a really great resource. If the Internet isn't necessarily your thing or you just can't navigate it, you can also call 211 for help. And I actually just spoke with Dr. Jameson within the past half hour, and he says according to MDHHS, we may actually start seeing a bit of a lag in vaccine supply over the next three weeks. In that story there, we were talking about an increase that will come. It might just take a little while. But let's talk about these vaccination numbers using our great software. We're going to check the numbers today. As of Friday, if you look in these green boxes here, 3.4 million doses so far have been administered out of the 4.3 million that have been shipped across the state. If you can see first doses, 2.2 million fully vaccinated people. That's the number we want, 1.2 million so far. If we want to do a deeper dive into Kent County, kind of looking at those numbers here, you can see that 153,000 people so far have received their first dose. Fully vaccinated people, 92,000. We can also go a little bit deeper into Ottawa County, 66,249 for their first dose, 38,000, almost 39,000 fully vaccinated. So these numbers, of course, change daily, and it's really neat to track how they're growing. It's really fun. We love this software. If you would like to click around at this exact Exact same map. You can look at vaccinations. You can look at cases. You can also look at deaths. We do have the same interactive map for you on our website. Just go ahead and visit fox17online.com. Derek.